In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to create a video effect where the letters look like they're on fire. This comes as a request from a subscriber. Now we're not going to use a title, we're actually going to use a mask. Let me show you how we're going to do this. I have a video I'll drop down to track 2. I don't want it on 1, I want it on track 2 and it's some cyclists going down a highway. So let's assume that it's a very hot day and we want to uh, illustrate that with a what looks like a title but really isn't. So I'm going to click on that clip and in the designer option I'm going to click on mask designer. Now if you don't have PowerDirector 16 this tool is found under the pip designer. So I'll click there and we're going to create a mask. I'll click on the Create Mask button on the left side, and it will immediately try to create a mask made of, of words, letters and words. That's what we want. So I'll just say, Very Hot Day. And I'll do Control A to select it all, and then we'll shrink it down a little bit. And I will move my mask maybe over here. Okay, so now I have my mask, which will serve as a title. I'll click on OK. Now, if I look carefully, what my mask uh, creation did is it masked out everything except the letters. I want the opposite, so I'm going to click on Invert Mask on the left side. And now I have my very hot day. If I click on OK, now this is superimposed on the screen. Now. It's okay, but it's not all that interesting. Let's make it more interesting. Remember, a mask basically punches a hole in that track's video or picture. So what we've done is cre we've created a hole, and we look when we look underneath to track number one, which is empty, it defaults to black. So if we want to change the color of the letters, we need to change the track underneath. I could use a color board, click over here, we we'll just click on blue and drag it down, move my playhead over here, and now the letters are blue. Likewise, if I put green on the track, they would be green. And we have a tutorial on how to make these move in motion using these tools and um, keyframing. But let's assume that we don't want either of those, and we don't want black, we want something different. I'm going to click on my media content, and here I have a couple of uh, short clips that are video clips and now you see I have very hot day and if I play this over here it's actually moving because underneath I have another video that you can only see inside the letters so that's not too bad let's show you another effect I have another short video here and this is very hot today and I'll go ahead and play it and it's kind of what I like, but not quite. So what I'm going to do is show you something else you can do with the video. I'll double click on this. And I know that my very hot day, there's my letters. I want, I want it mostly in the flames. So I'm going to make sure I have all the flames over here. And I can enlarge it as well as simply move it. And now if I click on OK, uh, that video will play and you will see more of the flame action in that particular part of the video. So those are a couple of ways that you can take a pretty standard uh, text like the one we see here and put behind it almost any kind of video. It doesn't have to be fire. It can be anything you like and then you can change the look and feel of that. You haven't used text. You've simply used a mask and put something behind it that makes it a little more eye-catching.